Hello, hello guys. This is Andy from Amboyote Sound. Uh, this is our new console that was bought uh, for us, uh, for our events, uh, for hire. And also we have some brand new for sale. So you can always holler at us or check, check our Facebook page for any offers on these digital mixers. And uh, today you want to learn about gain structure. Gain structure is the most, most important thing for any sound engineer or any sound technician. But yet it's the most ignored uh, section of our training because uh, people assume there are so many theories about how we set sound. Some are wrong, some are right. But uh, remember, gain structure is the most ignored uh, topic. And today we are going to handle it uh, with a lot of care because... We shall be dealing with it uh, on this digital mixer, but also remember we have uh, this mixer. And I'm going to, to start from here, then uh, I do whatever I'm supposed to do practically on this digital console. So there's a theory that goes around that uh, most people start their gain structure from down going up. Uh, but this, this is very wrong because we are supposed to start from gain coming down to the fader and then going to the master fader and then now going to our going to our EQ and also our amplifier. Uh, this is our power sequencer. It's usually good uh, so that we can source all our power equipment from this. It's like an extension at the, at the back there. We'll go, we'll discuss about it some, some other time. We have our EQ, which we're not going to use for today. Then we have our amplifier. We are going to use one amplifier. Yes, uh, to, to, to discuss this topic. So, uh, as I said, most people start their gain structure from the amplifier. Then they pump the amplifier so hard that... <clears throat> They pump the amplifier so hard that there is so much pumping uh, and, this, and the amplifier is so much sensitized that it gets the slowest, the lowest noise, even the hum, and it might burn your speakers. It might cause so much noise in your sound system. And uh, that's why we start from top here, going down, going to the master fader, and then we go to the rest if, if it's your crossover, if it's your... If it's your equalizer, if it's your amplifier. So uh, just to show you, this is our gain. This is the gain. Uh, and so you start by pumping the gain. You start by pumping the gain until, and you should always read your meter, until you get to zero, which is called the unity. Until you get to zero. Uh, when you get the highest voice going to zero, then now you start uh, rising, raising your, your fader up a little bit until you get the full volume. This is good because it will, it will cause less noise and less harm and it will also, it will not cause any distortion in your sound system. So I think we should go here to, we do it practically. Uh -huh. So we have our microphone connected. It's a Sennheiser, a coded Sennheiser E28S, and this is what we are going to use for our demonstration today to test uh, about the gain the gain structure. So as I said earlier on, uh, we are supposed to always read the meter. So it's advisable you put on the PFL. So that you can read, you can read your microphone from here. So we are going to check, check, check. As you can see now, it has started receiving. It has started receiving the meter. So we pull our gain until it gets to zero at our loudest voice. Check, 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 check. You see. It's getting to zero at our loudest, meaning uh, we have left enough headroom in case of uh, any other voice that is more than whatever I'm talking. 
check 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 so there is enough headroom for that and uh this is now where we start our our gain structure from the gain button itself or the preamp remember it's also an amplifier that is before our main amplifier that is why it's called the preamp as you can see so our gain is at 37 also don't it, don't set it too low that it won't be hard it's good to set it uh, at zero then you leave enough headroom in case in case uh there's there's a louder voice coming in so now from there you can go to your fader uh, this one is channel 17. So from there you can go and raise your fader and also raise your master volume to the unity To unity then you raise up according to how you want it Then now for us our setup is the mixer then the next one is the amplifier. So from then from there we go to the amplifier and uh, Set our volume according to uh According to there are also some uh, signals that are also shown there and it should not clip also. So uh, that is where we start our gain structure. Remember we start from the gain, we go down to the to the channel fader, then we go to the master fader. Not the other way around, we start with the master fader or maybe you pump the amplifier too much, then you set your master fader here and... Uh, your channel fader here remember your your amplifier will blow your speakers because the it's receiving remember that knob is called the sensitivity the sensitivity knob so it 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 is so sensitive that it picks the slowest the lowest noise until if you if you try removing if you try removing your your microphone you will also hear it from the speakers and it will pop and blow your speakers so al always remember to start your set up from the gain going downwards going downwards to your rack your crossover your amplif your eq your processor and everything then the last one is your always your amplifier yeah so that is it about gain structure always do your practice always practice using different equipment uh, like for us we are using the digital and also the analog yeah, and we wish you well. And also remember to join our classes, which are happening from Monday to Friday. And God bless you.